Hello class, the purpose of this video is to help with challenge activity 5-2-2. Um, so the first thing we have to do is click this link to download the spreadsheet. So I click the link and it says we're gonna use sheet number three. So I click the link and here's my spreadsheet. So we need th sheet number three, here's my data, okay. And now it says, all right, we have a school administrator. They believe the mean class GPA for a course is higher than the preferred mean of 2.75. Okay, so as soon as I see the words higher than, I know this is a right-tailed test. If we said less than, it'd be a left-tailed test, right? So greater than is a right-tailed test, later than is less, uh, less than is a left-tailed test, equals would be a two-tailed test, all right? So the first thing we have to do is find the mean. Oh, actually, before we even get to that, from the histogram, can normality be assumed? And our choices are yes or no. So let's let's do a histogram. All right, so if I highlight my 50 pieces of data and click insert, and then we looked at this histogram button, and I click histogram, you can see my histogram, it's pretty well distributed right this this, look, this looks like a normal curve right this is normally distributed uh um, data so that means we can say uh normality uh can be assumed so we can say yes and that allows us to proceed with the problem now to get the mean and maybe i should type in a few boxes here mean we're going to need the standard deviation uh we'll need the t-stat and p-value, right? These are all the things we'll need. Maybe we'll make this a little bit bigger and bolder, just so you can see what we're working with here. Okay, all right. So how do we get the mean? If I type in equals and then average, and then I highlight my data. and then close the parentheses, press enter, there's my average. Okay, to get the standard deviation, uh, I'm going to type in uh, equals stdev dot. Now, if it was a population, we would do dot p, but since we're taking a sample, we do dot s, and then we highlight all of our data. Okay, and then close my parentheses, press enter. All right, there is my standard deviation. So first of all, I should enter my mean and it's rounded to three decimal places. My mean was 2.80. Um, so I'll type in 2.80. My t-stat, okay, so we have to figure out how do I calculate my t-stat so to find uh, my t statistics or my t stat i type in equals and now we have to do if you remember it's x bar minus mu or minus the average and i think the average in this case was 2.75 right 2.75 so x bar minus 2.75 and that was divided by uh, my standard deviation divided by the square root, or so S-Q-U-R-T, of my N. And I think in this case, N was 50, right? Yeah. So I put in 50, double parentheses to close. And I think we are good to go. I'm just making sure I have enough parentheses. I think this is good. I press equals. There's my T stat, my test uh, statistics. And then to find P value, right? Uh, so since this is a right tailed test, we're gonna put in equals, and then it's T dot D I S T. And then this is a right tailed test. So I put in dot R T. 
And now um, we need our value for the test uh, statistic, right? That's this comma the degrees of freedom that's n minus one so if we had 50 data points we would do 50 minus one which is 49 and then we close it up and press enter so there's my p value so you can see this is lower than the level of significance right since p is less than 0 0.05 i know i'm going to reject my null hypothesis uh, so let's go back and fill in what we can so we have x bar our test statistic was this and i'm just uh 2.401 2.401 and then uh please enter a valid value okay all right and then my p value i believe was 0 0.010 zero point zero one zero so i rounded the three decimal places for all of these hopefully it doesn't give me a hard time about that all right uh, i just want to double check again point zero one zero two point four zero one okay so since p is less than the level of significance right p is point one the level of significance or alpha is point zero five that means we reject if it's less we reject so we reject the null hypothesis and we say that enough evidence exists to suggest that the mean GPA is higher than 2.75. And we can check our answer. And it looks like we got a perfect score. Look at that. Checks everywhere around. Okay. And I just want to kind of maybe even show you what the, the null hypothesis looks like here. Um, right, so the null hypothesis would be uh, that it's equal to or less than 2.75. And the alternative hypothesis would be that um, the average is greater than, right? So we, we rejected the, the null hypothesis and we um, accepted the alternative hypothesis. Okay. So that's video, uh, we'll handle part one. I'm gonna create a separate video to maybe jump to part three, right? Because they give us three different examples here. Uh, so I'd, I'd like to show you at least one more example of this problem. Thank you for watching.